Okay, let's get started. So I'd love you to be in a more stable chair than this. This is the chair that I'm going to teach from and this is going to be a 15 minute chair yoga class, approximately. So go ahead and start by getting comfortable in your seat. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Let the shoulders relax. And begin to move your head a little bit. Depending on how your neck is feeling today, you might not go right away into head circles. I often don't find head circles to be the most helpful for me. Instead, I like to take kind of unique shapes depending on the day, maybe a triangle or maybe just side to side. Start to feel what it would be like to bring the chin slightly further down towards your chest. And then if that's feeling good, press your chin into your chest for a moment and feel the stretch on the back of the neck. Pulling the shoulders maybe gently back. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then moving slowly and carefully, start to lift your head back up to center and just turn your head like you're trying to look over opposite shoulders a few times. So if your neck is a little stiff today, you'll see at the edges, you'll feel a little bit limited. Let's just pause there if that's you today, which is me. And take a deep breath in and out and take the other side. Great, now bring your head back to center. Let's move your arms. So taking your arms slowly up as wide as you can, up above your head, interlace your fingers, turn the palms up to the ceiling and start to stretch just in an easy and natural way side to side. Finding some peace and acceptance with how the body is wanting to move in this moment. And what kind of range it might be enjoying. Keeping the breath rhythmically going in and out your nose. Or if your nose is clogged today, using your mouth. And then bringing the arms back up to the top, let's release the arms down. And you'll see I already lifted up my feet. We're all gonna lift the feet up. You can bring them a little bit forward to have more space and just circle out your ankles. Even squeeze the toes in towards the pads of the feet and change direction. And then let's flex the feet and point them a few times. See if you can stretch the tops of the feet as you point. Take a deep breath and make sure the shoulders are pretty much aligned over your hips. And then let's let the feet come back down, whether it's the toes or the feet. And then bring that left hand down, so I'll show you like I'm your mirror, and take the right arm up and over your ear. Just see how this is feeling. You might want to place the hand back down on the chair for a little more stability. Take a deeper side stretch, maybe that left elbow presses against the back of your chair. And if you'd like to turn the gaze up or open the heart slightly, that might be a good choice for you. While we're here, if you feel comfortable, start to roll out your wrist in both directions. And then let's slowly and carefully come up and take the other side. So this time right hand comes down, maybe past the chair, or maybe you keep that hand just on the chair. Lifting left arm up and over, stretching the intercostal muscles, the muscles between your ribs. Maybe pressing down into the opposite foot so you keep the stability and anchor there. And then let's slowly and carefully come back up. This should be feeling good. Deep breath in, let's roll the shoulders up. Deep breath out, roll them down. One more time like that, roll them up, breath in. 
and roll them down. Now let's take a twist. We're gonna do this in a really nice, easy, gentle way. So taking the arms out like wings, start to drop your head back slightly as the heart opens, squeeze the shoulders behind you. Take a few deep breaths. And then start to bring your left hand behind you and maybe hold on to the chair if you can wrap it around, holding the back of the chair. Take your right hand to your thigh and push the thigh against it as you start to rotate gaze over that left shoulder. Keeping the feet squarely down on the ground. So you can use the feet and the pressure of the feet as resistance. Take an inhale and lengthen your spine slightly and exhale, rotate a little bit more if that feels okay in your body today. Inhale, and slowly return to center, moving carefully through the mid-back. Let's try the other side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, start to wrap the right arm behind the chair. Left hand comes to the outer edge of your right thigh. Lengthen the spine, press into the feet if they're touching the ground, and exhale, start to turn the gaze over that right shoulder. Let's lengthen the spine a little bit more. Inhale, see if you can deepen the twist slightly on the exhale. Good, let's take another breath in and return to center. Okay, start to drag your fingertips down towards your knees. Just being really careful here. Maybe this is good for you, maybe not. If you can, slide the hands all the way down to the feet and let the head just enjoy hanging forward. It's like this is the equivalent of our hanging forward fold. You can toss your head a little side to side, a little out around your ears, roll your head around. But you're trying to let the neck fall from the spine so you get new oxygen flow between where your neck connects to your spine. Take a breath and really let the skin fall towards the nose, the weight of the ears falling towards the nose. Inhale, and on your exhale, round the back, separating the shoulders, coming all the way up. Let's arch the back a little bit more. So this time, inhale, lift your arms and hook your thumbs. Take an inhale and arch the back, pulling the hands apart at the thumbs. Start to tip the pelvic bowl away from your navel. So I'll show you that from the side. Tipping pelvic bowl away from the navel. Here's neutral, and the pelvic bowl tips away from the navel. And now let's tip the pelvic bowl back in towards the navel and reach the arms in front of you, rounding your spine. Let's do that again. Inhale, we'll arch. Arching from the upper back all the way into the low back. And then exhale and round. Just finding the range of motion that works best for you here. Inhale, let's arch. Exhale, let's round. Tip one more like that, inhale, and rounding on your exhale. Now let's open the arms out like wings. I'm gonna turn forward again. So arms out like wings, wrap the arms around you, left arm over the right. So I'll show you my, of your mirror, taking the arms around your back and maybe rounding in chin to chest. So feel the shoulders separating here on your back. Take a breath into the upper back. On your next inhale, open up like wings again. Big breath. And then cross the opposite arm on top. Exhale and round slightly. So again, I'll show you this from the side. We'll do this once more. Inhale, arching the back, leaning back maybe. This is much more in the upper back than the lower back, but it's okay if your lower back wants to play along with this too. And then rounding on the exhale. Let's take this one more time. Remember to switch the cross of the arms. Exhale and round. Good job. Let's lengthen the spine, relax the arms. Let's shake the arms out a little bit, down by your side. And let's roll both the wrists out. We might not have done that on both sides with our side stretch, so rolling the wrists out. Now let's stretch your hands, okay? So stretching your arm forward, go ahead and turn the fingers down. Use the opposite hand to pull the fingers back, just gently, not overdoing it. Big breath in. And then we'll take the same thing on the other side, pulling the fingers down, stretching the top of the wrist. And then let's take 
the hands to the top of the hand faces the ceiling and pull the fingers back this way. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Pulling back, ah, I really feel that on that hand. So this is my writing hand and my typing and my texting hand. So let's stay a little bit longer on that side. Maybe for you, that's the other arm. Inhale, exhale. All right, let's bring the hands down. You can shake them out a little bit. Make sure they feel neutral. Wiggle the fingers around like you're playing a piano with very tall keys. And then an option here to come cross-legged. Now, if this is not possible for you, I want you to stay just like you were. But just an option here for those of you who would like to cross the legs. Start to shift weight a little bit forward, so out of the back of the hips when you're sitting, and more in the center of the hips. Take a big breath here. And then just start to make little mini micro circles with the torso over the pelvic bowl. So imagine you're stirring this big cereal bowl with the torso going around that very edge, the very rim of that big bowl and changing directions. And bringing yourself back to center, inhale and exhale. Now let's see if we can wrap it. It'll depend on the size of your chair, but take your arms behind your back if possible and interlace your hands. I'll bring my feet down to show you this one so I can swivel. So interlacing the hands, take the arms maybe above the chair. You can adjust the hips so this works for you. If your feet are down and you feel really mobile today or in general in your body, you can absolutely take this into a little fold. Dropping your head and taking your arms over your ears. But if you'd like to stay upright, that's going to be really good for you as well. Just squeezing out the shoulders. You can move the head a little bit. If you took that one bow and that was really easy for you, I encourage you to take one more bow on an exhale. Coming all the way down, drop the arms over your head. And let's slowly, carefully come up if you went down at all. All right, here we are, big breath in, big breath out. Now we're gonna take the knees further apart. So just a wider stance with the legs, okay? And you can really make this as wide as you'd like. If you are super mobile and you are feeling like a big stretch in your inner thighs, take your legs out wider. Okay, let's take that left arm inside the left thigh and take a big side stretch, staying stable on your chair. See if you can feel this as an inner thigh stretch by pulling back slightly with that right thigh and pressing slightly into the right thigh with the arm. Or sorry, the left thigh with the left arm. Good, let's rotate the chest open and bring yourself back to center. You can relax your legs a little bit if you'd like between sides. Big breath in, big breath out. Okay, let's take the other side. I'm gonna show this a little more narrow. So taking that right arm inside your right thigh, big stretch. And maybe you create an inner thigh stretch more by tilting the pelvic bowl away from the navel, reaching the heart forward, feeling really sturdy on your toes or your feet. Start to open up through the chest. Inhale and exhale. All right, let's bring the legs back to center. Roll the shoulders up, down, and back. And then we're going to rotate just through the torso. So before we took circles over the pelvic bowl, here we're going to stabilize and see if you can just roll your torso out. Rolling the rib cage around. This can feel a little bit unusual at first if you haven't done it before. Just going with what your body feels up for as you make this attempt, connecting body to brain, very healthy no matter how it comes out. Changing directions if you haven't. And then let's pause at center and do a little bit of breath work before we close here. So closing your eyes, take an inhale, take an exhale. I'm gonna do an energizing breath sequence with you. So you're gonna inhale through your nose for five, then you'll tuck your chin and you'll hold your breath for six, and then you'll release opening your mouth for seven. Okay, so five, six, seven, emptying all the breath out. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Chin tucks in, holding for six. 
five, four, three, two, open your mouth, exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you can think of this sort of like an adaptogenic breath. It really calms you down if you're feeling a little hyper or anxious, and it really lifts you up if you're feeling more low or tired. And I've used it myself. I even used it before I gave a speech at my sister's wedding, and I felt very, very calm. So doing that maybe at some point today as a little homework assignment, maybe five breaths like that, and just noticing the effect. And remember the key is inhale through your nose for five, hold with the chin chucked into the chest. You can even feel all of the squeezing effort up and towards the crown of your head. And then opening your mouth, exhale for seven. So that the exhale is longer than the inhale. Let's take one more deep breath together, maybe setting up an intention for your time after this class. Thank you very much for joining. Big inhale together and exhale. Great work.